After losing her mother-in-law and father-in-law to COVID-19 in a nursing home in New York State, Janice Dean and her family grieved as they watched those in power joking on national television instead of being held accountable. Yeah, uh, man, this was a mistake. Now with both Chris and Andrew Cuomo out of a job, she's making her voice heard in a Fox News op-ed writing, quote, had they, had, they, had they both done the job they were hired to do, this day would never have come. The Cuomo Brothers Comedy Hour has finally been canceled. And Janice Dean joins us now. Janice, how do you feel this morning about this? Well, if it wasn't for the Andrew Cuomo, Chris Cuomo Comedy Hour, I wouldn't be sitting here because that's the day that my grief turned to rage when I saw those guys joking around about the love gov and uh, who their mother's favorite son was and the big cotton swab where nursing homes could not get tests to test incoming infected patients. And we right. now know that Andrew Cuomo admitted, or his administration admitted, over 9,000 COVID-positive patients. I saw those guys joking around as body bags are being piled up outside of nursing homes, and that's when I said, it's right. time I tell my story because nobody else is covering it. Because in the beginning, uh, it was Governor Cuomo who ordered people who had COVID to go back to the nursing homes. And then the, we knew the number was going to get big. We didn't know how big that number has been manipulated by his staff and others. You know, the very latest is apparently the Department of Justice is looking into the Cuomo. Even though Governor Cuomo is gone, the DOJ is looking on uh, exactly what happened. There's still several investigations into this governor, and I believe at least one of them is going to be criminal. So did you ever think you'd see this day? If you had told me last year at this time, after his Emmy Award, after going on every deal. single show, the $5.2 million book deal, which we now know was one of the reasons why he covered up over 15,000 uh, nursing home victims, is to sell that $5.2 million book. If you had told me that this time last year, I would have said, you're completely insane. His... I felt at that point, I was, I, my voice was not being heard. Uh, this time, at Christmas time, I told my husband, I'm going to give up. It's not worth it. It's not worth bringing my family into this day after day when these people will not be held accountable. Right. What is Sean's reaction to this, your husband? I mean, it's Christmas time. He, he doesn't have his parents. We can never bring them back. But we can ask for accountability and the answers. Uh, we still need to find out why did he put COVID positive patients into nursing homes? Why did he cover up those numbers? Why did he give out friends and family COVID tests to uh, Chris Cuomo when nursing homes couldn't get them to literally save lives? Uh, so there's so many answers right. we need to get to the bottom of. And now we find out that Chris Cuomo, he's a lawyer, was working behind the scenes and Terrible. to the point to try to do some damage control and right. choreograph and his brother's defense and lied to his staff, lied to his viewers. No, I'm not helping anyone out. No, I am not getting information on any of these victims. That was a lie. He was actively trying to smear these women that came forward against his brother. And you mentioned uh, that Governor Cuomo got uh, over $5 million personally yep. to write this book. But as it turns out, it sounds like a state staff actually did a lot of the yeah, legwork. They turned the executive chambers into a book publishing For company. free. They had yes, to do it. Absolutely. And that is against the law in New York State. Where so does this go? What happens next? Well, there's still investigations that are still uh, ha going, uh, is happening right now. And hopefully we'll, we'll see some of those results in the new year. I'm very grateful to Letitia James, who, by the way, had she not dropped that bombshell in January of this year, I would have given up. I think I, I would have just decided that it wasn't, it wasn't worth it to bring my family into this. She was the one that said, yes, he has been covering up those numbers. And yes, putting COVID positive patients into nursing homes probably wasn't the best and decision. Now she's running for governor, isn't she? She is, and I'm sure she has her her motivations for lease, releasing all these bombshell reports, but if it was not for her, I wouldn't be sitting yeah. here today, and they would still probably still be in power. She's releasing heavy. facts, not opinion. No, just not her opinion. These no. are the facts from the These are facts, the but she women. went against her own party, party to bring justice to New Yorkers. Well, I remember when they were putting these, the, when your in-laws were going through all of this, the nursing home stuff, and it was reported that it was more harmful for older people, of people course. who had other issues. What was, was Governor DeSantis doing? He was actively trying to prevent COVID going into the nursing homes. He, was he didn't them. let one infected patient go into nursing homes. Why did Governor Cuomo do no. that? And, Why? And there were other Democratic governors who did the same yes, thing. Yes, there were several of so, them. So, uh, yeah, I uh, hope they push forward on that, too. All right, Janice, uh, there's another page, and there's, there's much more to talk about. So, Thank I'll have you. you. Have Thank you, you back. for having me. But you have to come back and talk about it because we book I'll you I'll continue. Every day. I'll continue to do Read it. Read her op ed on foxnews.com. Yep. Thank you. All right, uh, meanwhile,